It's the most tremendous new musical experience you can have. What's up, y'all? It's Logan, and I'm here bringing y'all this new video. Just, you know, a little lighthearted video. Um, talk about the fact that I just recently started vinyl collecting. Uh, now, I'm going to move here. As you can see right over here, we have my um, turntable. It comes with two edifiers, and it is an Audio Technica um, turntable. Dear God, I hope I said that right, but yeah, whatever. Um, it is one that I received as a graduation present from, for graduating college, obviously, um, for my cousin. So thank you for that. It is a very high quality machine. Um, and it's not terribly expensive if you do plan on collecting. Again, I recommend getting something like that because it's going to be a little bit higher quality. The needle's not going to scratch your, um, your disc as much. And that is always a good thing. That way you can keep them forever and come back and listen to them. Um, if you get one of those portable ones, they might not have that same level of protection. The needle can wear down a lot faster, and very many times the needles aren't replaceable. So make sure you think about what type of um, turntable you're getting if you're planning on listening to vinyls as well. Uh, that being said, let me go ahead and bring out my vinyls. I'll go in the order that I got them. So first off, we have... My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Uh, now this one I got from a um, type kind of thrift shop, second hand store, um, but it was still in the plastic so it is a very high quality. It was basically new uh, when I got it. And man, this is a great project. Um, we all know how amazing this album is, uh, but it's a very beautiful presentation. As you can see, you have this cover right here. It actually comes with like five different covers that you can swap out depending on how you want it to look. Um, it is a trifold, so it can be a little difficult to get the vinyls out. Here, let me show you that. Um, so, see it opens up like that and then opens up again. That can be a little difficult to get them out, um, but they are, nonetheless, they are very good. They sound beautiful. Runaway is one of the most beautiful songs I have heard on vinyl, so I definitely recommend that one. Um, and it also came with this poster that you can see right here, literally. It has all the credits for all of the songs. And if you flip it on the other side, it also has the uh, ballerina cover. Although I thought that was just a little bit less entertaining, a little bit more obvious. I really enjoy this one where it shows all the covers again. Um, now after that, a couple days later, I went back to the same store and got a brand new copy of Igor. Um, as you can see right up here, we have the... Um, Igor picture that obviously came with this and this one is only let's see it is only one disc um, you know just side A and side B and that's a lot easier to carry around and it sounds beautiful as well um, just the same as I was saying about Runaway New Magic Wand beautiful so beautiful on vinyl so beautiful um, I, that's another one that I definitely recommend and of course this was my favorite album of 2019 so I had to cop it um, now after that from Target I got their um, limited edition special edition Good Kid Mad City this one did not come with any um, extra things posters or anything like that but the one cool thing about it as I will show you here the vinyl is clear um, so I thought that was really awesome. This sounds beautiful as well. Um, it doesn't have any standout songs per se, although you know the production is beautiful on Good Kid, Matt City. And again, it's one of the best albums of all time, in my opinion. Um, so after that, I had to get this little beauty, which, side note for this one, To Pimp a Butterfly. I didn't actually get this one. I shared this album with my cousin, uh, who is a huge music fan, although um, he finds himself more on the side of like, jazz bluegrass country rock um still listening to some rap but not quite as much um he had actually never heard this album before so i shared it with him and he already knew he's the one that i got all the advice from for collecting vinyls um he loved this album so much that he bought himself and me a copy of this album sounds absolutely beautiful on vinyl all the jazz influences everything like that so amazing definitely definitely if i had any album to recommend to get on vinyl that one right there 
Um, now, along with that, he also sent me A Love Supreme by John Coltrane. Uh, he just wanted to get me something that wasn't just hip-hop that would sound beautiful on vinyl. And let me tell you something, John Coltrane comes through on vinyl very well, all of the jazz sounding great. Um, overall, a very solid project that sounds great on vinyl. Now, after that, the, these next three I just got this past weekend after getting my first paycheck. Um, this first one I found on, uh, what was it, at Target. Nirvana's Nevermind. Uh, now, the cool thing about this one, as you will notice from any project that you get from Target, very often they will have a special edition release. And this one comes silver. I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, if you couldn't notice it on there, it has like paint splatters, uh, just that effect on it. But overall, this is one of my um, favorite albums. I really enjoy Smells Like Teen Spirit, In Bloom, and Come As You Are, um, especially those being the first three songs on the project. Um, you know, rest in peace, Kurt Cobain, obviously, but I really enjoy this project a lot. Uh, one of the biggest influential um, grunge projects, punk projects, however you want to look at it, ever. Um, now, after that, I went to Best Buy and I got these next two pro um, vinyls. First off, Master of Puppet Puppets by Metallica. Um, everyone always says this is the be best Metallica album, and I have a hard time arguing with that. I think it's a great project, one of the best metal projects of all time from the best metal band ever if i have to say so um really enjoyable really sounds amazing especially the songs battery and master of puppets um i'm gonna have to listen to it a few more times uh to give you a full synopsis on that but i've got to say uh those sound amazing orion of course uh, the guitar solo on that is so beautiful really great project that sounds good on vinyl and then finally What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. You know, everyone knows Marvin Gaye. Everyone knows how beautiful um, his singing can be. And of course, this being his best project. Oh, so clear production, especially considering the time it was released. Man, I love going back to this album and listening to it, even on Spotify. So hearing it as clear as day on vinyl, highly recommended. Highly recommend this project if you're going to collect vinyls. I think all of these, for the most part, are essentials. I would argue maybe not Good Kid, Mad City, um, but the rest of them, I would say, are pretty essential to any solid vinyl collection. Um, and of course, it's going to depend on what type of music you like. I like all types of music, rap more so than anything else, but I love rock, I love um, R&B, I love Clear Soul. Um, and then jazz just sounds beautiful on vinyl, and I, I can't argue with John Coltrane, especially I Love Supreme being one of those albums that you need on vinyl. Um, so yeah, that's my vinyl collection. I will continue to keep y'all updated. I have actually ordered um, the, tour, the limited edition tour edition of Taboo off of Denzel Curry's website. That is expected to ship on Thursday of this week, which this video should be going up on Thursday. Um, and so I should be getting it by sometime next week really look forward to that one you know that's one of my favorite albums ever and the production on that is beautiful as well that being said that's all i have for y'all on this one just wanted to keep y'all updated on that i thought it was pretty cool um that i did start collecting vinyls and i wanted to share share with y'all what i got so far um if you have any recommendations for albums to get on vinyl that maybe i haven't thought of so far of course i still have illmatic on my list still have um the chronic um ready to die uh and then a couple other rock albums like Led Zeppelin IV, um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Thriller, I've been looking for Thriller. I almost got Thriller, but they only had the plastic cover. They didn't have the actual um, box cover for that. So uh, being that that was a little less safe, a little more likely to get scratched, and also just less presentable altogether, I decided I'd wait and see if I could find a box cover for that. Um, but yeah, make any recommendations y'all have in the comments section. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell next to my name for notifications. I appreciate y'all and I will see y'all next time.